Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. <coughs> and uh, I have the AOKP Bill 38 ICS ROM loaded on the uh, Kindle Fire. And uh, since this team has decided not to support the uh, Kindle Fire any further, I decided I wanted to switch to a different ROM. And uh, so we're going to use the uh, Goo Manager application. If you don't have this, it's available for free on the uh, Play Store. And so what we want to do, uh, well, first off, let's just check and see if there are any updates to the ROM we have. And it says no updates available to ROM. Uh, browse for compatible updates. Uh, and uh, so one that that uh, looked fairly decent was from this guy I can't really agree with his name but that's his choice Pimp Man Eaton and uh, he has one for the Kindle Fire that sounds reasonable uh, eye candy who could use that uh, let's see who else we've got here Team Broccoli I've never heard of them Team Gummy uh, well, let's just go ahead and try the, the uh, this one because I believe it is ICS. Uh, it's, uh, so uh, version two seems to be his newest. Here's I Candy GX mod something. I don't know what this is. We'll just SGT Kindle Fire. So we'll just go ahead and use this one and uh, begin the download. So what Goo Manager does, you could do this whole thing using your computer and um, or you could even download the files directly on the Kindle Fire. Uh, you could download the file anywhere, you know, there, anywhere you want to find the files. And uh, so it's starting to download here, you see. And you, as long as you have Team Win Recovery Project installed on your uh, Fire, you can install directly there. This is just kind of an interface to make everything real simple. Uh, it does uh, most of the setup work for you and finds the files and, and uh, puts them together for you. So it, it really isn't going to change a lot, but uh, it does make it a little bit easier. I think that means that it's already, oh, it's still downloading. Okay, so uh, it says it's downloading. Now this is a uh, an ICS ROM that I'm, I have on right now but like I say I'm having a little bit of problems with it and that that team has decided not to support the Kindle Fire anymore so uh, for those reasons I decided not to stay with it. Now you will need uh, the G apps to go with this so we'll need to download the G apps when we get through here. G apps being the Google applications and uh, they being what you need to get started the uh, applications that normally are not available directly on the Play Store. So we're just about there. Now I have a pretty fast Wi-Fi here. I'm getting about 17 uh, megabits. So that's fairly fast. You may have faster or you may have a lot slower. Uh, and that will base your uh, speed of download. Well, I think we're going to get there. It's just almost there. Just don't want to finish those last few bytes. Not sure what the problem is. Okay. <laughs> this is really strange. It just stopped just before it's finishing up. There we go. Checking the MD5 some. Oh, another thing that uh, the Goo Manager does that's pretty cool is that it automatically checks the MD5. So make sure that 
that you do have the correct one. Okay, so uh, we're fine with that. So we go back and back and back and back and then uh, download GEPS packages. And yes, we want to download the latest for us. And for us, the latest uh, for us is 429. So we want to begin the download. This shouldn't be quite as large as the ROM file, so it'll take a little bit less time. And usually this one goes pretty fast. It's downloading. We'll go ahead and pull the thing up so we can see how it's going. And there we go. It's moving along pretty fast. The notifications on Android is really pretty cool to allow you to see things real easy or not if you don't want to. So either way you can. Okay, we're just about there. It's moving pretty quickly. One, two, three. There we go. Checking MD5 sums. Okay, so we close the notifications and we go back. We go back. Oops, went too far. Goo Manager. Now, what we want to do is flash ROMs. Okay, and so now if you do not already have Team Win on your uh, recovery, on your device, on, and this is the Kindle Fire, if you don't have it, then try to find one for me. Tell it to try to find one for you. And it will find the Team Win and then you can download it and, and install it directly. Now, when you do, it takes a while for that to happen. I already have it, so I can click already have that. So, uh, we want to uh, order and, uh, no, those that's the order we want. Okay, order and flash, so that's what we want to do is just go ahead and flash it. And uh, we're ready. The first one will be the eye candy. And then the second one will be G apps, and so that's what we want to do. Whoops! Whoa! 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 whoa. Wait a minute! No. Uh, what we want to do? I'm sorry. Uh, go back to flash ROMs. Order, and we've got to tell it over here to uh, wipe the cache in Dalvik, and uh, we've already created a backup and wipe the data or fa do a factory reset. Oops! I hit the wrong button. I'm trying to do it while you where you can see okay so we want to want this one we don't need the backup because we've already done that but if you did not do a backup be sure and you do do a backup before you flash a new ROM and flash yes okay so now it will reboot into team win and actually do the work in team win cuz goo manager doesn't do this kind of stuff it just uses team win now the blue fire color means that team win is installed there And I use the Kindle Fire Utility to install this, and uh, it will the version 9.6 Kindle Fire Utility will work to uh, root any existing Kindle Fire uh, that I'm aware of, including the latest update from from Amazon of their software. Now you get a little bit of glare here because it's all black except for the print, but it's actually installing the Eye Candy. At ROM and you could install any other ROM that's compatible with the uh, the device you can install any ROM it'll work the same way so and I've never seen this ROM so I don't know if I like it or not uh, it's just a ROM that we picked out to flash and uh, you can flash any ROM that you can that is compatible uh, most ROMs will not include the GApps. You'll have to include them separately. So uh, you can download the GApps directly from the Goo Manager and with the ROM. And so now we're finished flashing the GApps and it's rebooting. By the way, if you have the fire uh, right here, you hold the, it says hold the power button down and you'll get uh, a menu of boot options. You can go into recovery there. And that happens every time you boot from from uh, power on state. Okay, so eye candy is coming up. Now, one of the things that I need to tell you, and I tell every time I talk about building a new, uh, flashing a new ROM, 
the first in, uh, first time that a new ROM boots up, it takes an extraordinarily long time. Sometimes as long as five minutes I've seen on some ROMs and devices. But later boots will be much, much faster. After you set up, uh, you can change to, uh, or you can reboot the device in about 30 seconds usually now with most new ROMs. But the first time, it takes a long time. So I'm doing this in real time so that you get an idea for the time that it takes. Because it could be that we were in a, a loop at this point. And if that were the case, then you wouldn't know whether you need to shut it off or start over because nothing's happening right now. It just looks stuck. But probably, and again, I haven't seen this, this ROM before, so I don't know, but probably it's doing something it's just not showing us any movement. Okay, there we go. We're ready to go, and we just hit start and begin our setup. And uh, the first thing we want to do is set up the Wi-Fi, and then we can go ahead and do all the rest of the setup. Okay, so that is doing uh, switching over to a different ROM using the Goo Manager. More information at my website, the Bishop of Technology, RayWaldo.com. Find us there and ask the questions we do support from the website, not from YouTube. So please do the uh, send your questions to or leave a comment at the website, raywaldo.com. All right, see you next time. Bye.